Hey guys, Jeep and Bubba here, and today I'm at home in my garage working on my 05 LJ, and I'm going to be putting MagnaFlow exhaust on it. And I decided to go with part number 17121, which is a cat back system that's mandrel bent, and this is known as their uh, off road performance series. Now, this uh, dumps pre axle, and the reason I did that is because I got a suspension on the way that I'm going to need. Um, something that's not in the way of a long arm on an LJ. This would also work on a TJ. Um, not this exact part number, but if you go to blackbearoffroad.com, we have the same exact exhaust for TJs, uh, LJs, and JKs. Um, I'll put a link below in the description so you can find that if you're interested. So I'm going to go ahead and unbox this, show you guys what it looks like. I was online and I didn't see a lot of actual, or on YouTube, I didn't see a lot for this particular kit. The kit that uh, is the full all the way back that comes out of the back of the um, Jeep behind the bumper. Uh, there are a few reviews online of those and some good kind of sound reviews. So um, I'll show you kind of what it takes to install it and then what it sounds like. Okay, hey guys, I unboxed this. Uh, so as you can see, you have it's all two inch piping, two, or excuse me, two and a half inch piping. It's all stainless steel construction. Uh, you have a 14 inch. Um, muffler here that's all stainless for MagnaFlow. Uh, it's a straight through design um, so it's gonna be pretty loud and then you get a turn down tip that's actually uh, again all stainless but it's a three inch tip versus the two and a half. Two band clamps and a couple stickers and some warranty information plus installation instructions. This side right here is gonna these two up uh, well it's gonna go right into your catalytic converter from the factory and I did notice these are a little dirty on the inside. They put some packing oil, and I think it just picks up some uh, some debris from being packaged. So make sure you clean those out. And then you're going to use a clamp. It's going to bolt right on the back side. You're going to put your muffler on there, and then this clamp's going to connect to the uh, uh, muffler itself, and then it should go into a factory hanger with those two clamps. I'll say versus something you can see at AutoZone, these clamps that are provided by MagnaFlow are. Uh, double strength they're really fantastic I've done a couple MagnaFlow exhausts in the past and that's why I continue to use them even though they're going to be a little bit more expensive they always sound really good and uh, are high quality so um, I'm gonna go ahead and get this uninstalled and also gonna film what the stock exhaust sounds like versus uh, what this MagnaFlow sounds like okay this escalated quickly and I'll get you guys up to date with what is going on underneath this LJ Alright, so this is the factory exhaust. Hope you can see that okay. And this is gonna be your factory muffler. As you can see, it's pretty long, and uh, that's gonna really slow down the flow, but it's also gonna make it a lot quieter. Like, as you can tell, they're pretty quiet from the factory. But what you can see is I've removed the belly pan, and if yours is not that rusty, which I don't know if there's any of those out there currently. <laughs> This one's from Georgia, and it's it's in good condition as far as the frame and the bolts and everything. Um, you may have an exhaust where these nuts will come off just by maybe letting the bolts out of this side of the belly pan, sneaking your hand up with a wrench, and then breaking them free. But I had no uh, success with that, so I completely pulled the belly pan off. You see I'm supporting it over here. Oh, the engine transmission and uh, that's gonna give me a lot of room plus there's a little rust underneath here that needs painted so um, I'll go ahead and sand that and paint that today as well and not too bad and then uh, I'm just using a jack over here just to lift this Jeep up just a little bit it's not off the tires but just give me a little more headroom but anyways um, you can take these bolts out of the belly pan with an 18 millimeter I used the half inch electric impact I pulled them right out and then you have four 13 millimeter um, bolt or nuts on um, the transmission mount and then you'll have two more on that little skid that goes on like the engine skid there and uh, that's for an LJ I'm not sure exactly how it looks on your TJ I think when I used to work on Corey's at JCR it looks similar but he had a long arm kit on it but I think it looks similar um, anyways uh, when you do pull the belly pan off, make sure you put a jack or something underneath it um, because it uh, will fall down and hit you in the face. And it is supporting the uh, 
some of the weight of the transmission and engine, just some of it. So anyways, what I'm going to do now, because these are completely rust welded on, these nuts, I'm going to take my saws off, wedge it right in here, um, and cut the, the actual bolt off on both sides. And then there's that, no real fear in doing that because um, it comes with new studs on the new exhaust. And then uh, all I'll have to do is provide some nuts, which I think I have some here. If not, I can run to the hardware store. But that's going to save me versus just working with sockets all day that just keep stripping and getting angry. Uh, I'll try that, or if that doesn't work, my cutoff wheel will definitely rip them off. But I'm just going to try to stick them the saws all right in here on both sides. I think I'll be able to cut it off. And then all you have to really do is there's two more flanges, rubber um, exhaust hangers that have to be loosened. And then you can pull that old factory one out and uh, start bolting in the new. Okay, so that worked pretty well. Use my Sawzall, Diablo blade, and a uh, little piece of advice. Put a jack underneath it. So when those bolts break, you can have some weight coming down. Not too heavy, but it'll scare you. So um, that's out of there. Your end product will be these broken off but as you can see now there's nothing on the back side we can put our magnet flow studs through there and uh, we're just gonna need a couple nuts but shouldn't be an issue that worked pretty well make sure you use safety glasses hair protection and gloves and uh, and chop it off all right so I got the new exhaust on um, I didn't have a nut to fit the studs that they had so I just pressed the old studs out and use some uh, hardware that I had here, some um, uh, bolts and washers and nuts. But got it installed. Um, what I found is, <coughs> sorry, what I found is, you want to bolt this flange on right here and get it um, snug as possible. And then uh, go ahead and have these loose and go ahead, go ahead and have the flange up here. Um, your exhaust hanger attached but just have them loose and then at the end I used a jack to get kind of everything level and then I went ahead and tightened them all down. Magnaflow recommends you tighten them to 45 foot pounds of torque and so that's what I'd recommend as well. Um, so I got everything tightened up. Just gonna throw this belly pan back on, tighten all the bolts and then uh, recheck my hardware here in a few weeks. Um, let me go ahead and tighten this all back up. If you have any questions about the installation please let me know. And then I'm going to go ahead and uh, give you guys a, uh, show you the difference and the, uh, the way that it sounds between stock and uh, aftermarket. Alright guys, that's it. I'm just going to go back and check my uh, fasteners here in a week or two. Um, everything sounds good. No rattles, no leaks. I love installing the Magnaflow product. It's always super easy. Um, I would say this installation can take you anywhere from 30 minutes to two and a half hours. And the reason I say two and a half is if you have a lot of rusty bolts, then you're probably going to be breaking some and replacing some. And um, if, you, if your belly pan when you're taking it off is going to be something that's difficult because of the uh, rust. That may add some additional time, but if you've got a newer, cleaner Jeep, maybe you're out in Arizona or somewhere that's real dry, um, then it, it should be only about half an hour. I use opportunity while I had the belly pan down. If you end up having to take yours to paint underneath there, that really is nice because that's where they build up a lot of rust is between the belly pan where it touches the frame. So go ahead and do some paint if you, uh, if you don't mind. And then, uh, yeah. It's all done. Sounds good. It's going to give me tons of clearance for when I go with a uh, long arm here in the future. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll uh, kind of sign off with me pulling away so you can get an idea what it sounds like driving away.